What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Got some, what is this? Performance Butane Gas Mix. One of the essentials you should have in this tough times of the virus going on. Uh, in case you run out of gas or government shuts the gas off or electricity off and you got nothing to cook with, you just get one of these, very cheap. Get some bunch of butane. Don't play with it like I'm doing. Stick it in, lock it up, and you got fire. There we go. Time to heat up some food. Right here we got uh, bean paste soup. Let's see if you guys can see if I can show you guys. Right here, bean paste soup. Uh, it's already been made by Mama. Um, it's heating it up because we've had it in the refrigerator. But um, healthy bean paste with spinach and tofu. And uh, I'm going to put some noodles in here and eat healthy. Boom. <clears throat> Until it gets warmed up, I'm going to grab some noodles and we'll be back. Before I come back, make sure you hit that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you are not subscriber yet. And we're going to enjoy this meal. I'll be back. So you do that right now. All right, I'm back with some noodles. But before we go on, did you hit that thumbs up? Did you hit that subscribe button? I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait a couple more seconds. Hit that right now, because I told you to hit it before I got back, but I know some of y'all didn't, so I'm waiting. Anyway, all right, I'm just messing around. Uh, I got some of this, um, it's called No Goody. You can see it here, No Goody. This was one of the noodles that was in that, uh, supposed to be the very, very amazing movie from Korea, Parasite. But anyway, this is the stir fry noodle. So it's not really like the typical ramen. See right here, stir fry. So what you're supposed to do is we'll cook the noodle, drain all the water out, and um, with the sauce that they give you, you're kind of supposed to eat it like a stir fry, as you can kind of see the picture. So basically it's not like a typical ramen with the soup, but I've never done this before, but I'm going to just put it in our bean paste um, soup, put some noodle, put some of that seasoning that's in here, and eat it. So it might be like bean paste seafood soup or something, but I just do my own thing. I don't care what this says. But what's going on here? I think my gas might be going low. I can't really tell. See the fire, though. But I'm gonna go get some uh, another butane container or a bottle, and I'll be right back. All right, all right, I'm back. Got another fresh bottle here. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna put it in right now because you can see the heat rising, so it's definitely getting heated up. So what I'm gonna do? Never done this, but <coughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the stuff. What is this? This is the seasoning oil. But I'm gonna put the frozen veggies, <clears throat> flakes, in. Right now. This is supposed to be the spicy edition. And, I mean the soup already has lots of flavors. I can just put the noodles in, but I'm gonna add the soup base packet. I don't know if I should add the whole thing or a little bit, but. Uh, Let's just go. Ooh. Ah, let's just add the whole thing. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it, Tiger. Alright, let me mix this in. Let it cook a little. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be good though. Because usually you do this you do this in water. And basically you got that soup base with water. And whatever comes with it, that's what most people do. But this is already like fully made soup, and we added a kick to the soup that's already been made. So here we go. It's starting to bubble. It's starting to bubble, which means it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. But anyway, um, let's talk about what's going on around the world now, right? We got the Actually, only thing that, well, we got several things going on, but the main topic is 
the virus, right? Um, so, but because of the virus, everybody's suffering. A lot of people are suffering. Um, a lot of the industries. I can say a couple of industries that's not, but we got the restaurant suffering. We have people suffering from their jobs. We have uh, stock market is getting hit hard. It's going to affect everybody. Um, even though some companies or some businesses will benefit right now, but that's not going to go on forever. So um, there's is is this moment where everybody needs to come together. Everybody needs to help each other. And this is a time too, as for you to uh, spend more time with your family and enjoy. Um, the time that you're gonna have with your family because everybody's been going, you know, the world's been going crazy, like as far as like living the life, right? Everybody's living their life wild and crazy. The money was good, and you know, it's time to kind of reset and reflect on the people that are important to you in life and uh, maybe change the way you live now because of this. And I mean, you know, we're all gonna be more definitely more cleaner as far as that hands go and stuff all right it's bubbling now so i'm gonna put this noodle in ready boom and you can't get you got to get everything so pour all that in too and then you use this as the garbage all right here we go it is sizzling Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Started from the bottom, but we only going up now. Listen to the sound. I remember when they said I wasn't blowing up. Wow. Now they all trying to say what's up now. Yeah. Now they all trying to say what's up now. Okay, everyone. It's all ready. It's all ready. I'm gonna take it off of this thing so it gets a little lower. I don't know if you guys can see better because of that, but that's what I'm gonna do. Put it down here and that to the side. Hopefully, you guys can get a better view of everything. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, but so, what's what's been going on? What's been going on? Right? We talked about the virus. How it's hurting everybody. Okay, Let's see if I can show you guys. There it is. Okay, get a look at it. Ooh, it's getting heavy. Okay. But I'm going to show you guys this way, too. Got spinach, too. If you're wondering what the other thing is besides the noodle, spinach. You do this, I'll get it closer. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the reason I went with this noodle from Noguri is because this noodle has really good texture. So that's why I went with it. Because I don't like just like plain, uh, weak, thin noodles. I want some texture to my stuff. So I'm going with this. We're going to talk more about the world and uh, Washington State and the USA, but first, eat first. You got to eat first. Here you go. First bite for you. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Let's go, baby. Mm. Mm. It's like first time tasting it, but not bad, pretty good. A little tofu. Ooh, it's hot. Hot. So, it's got like the bean. If you haven't had bean paste soup, it's got bean paste soup, but it also has a little bit of kick to it for spice. And you're eating noodle instead of rice with it. Oh. And tofu always gets super hot. They're like temperature. They love the, they're sensitive with temperature. Mm. 
Oh yeah, I'ma prove him wrong. Mm. Only going forward, no fall back. Fall back. She calling me, expecting me to call back. Call back. I'm not the type thinking so. all that. All that. She's bright, but I'm wearing all black. All black. In the state of Washington, all the public schools from uh, kindergarten to 12 is mandatory shutdown. University of Washington shut down. A lot of universities and colleges are shutting down, but not all of them yet. Um, any gathering of 250 or more has been banned. I believe in Washington and in Oregon. I think California is 500, but it's it's going across the whole country now um, we're kind of the start of it in the Northwest but I believe that a lot of the schools public and private schools for kids will get shut down very shortly across the whole nation there's basically no professional sporting events going on it's all been suspended our season has ended um, Apple announced that they're gonna shut down for two weeks in like all North America stores, I believe, or somewhere. But I think they reopened back up in China. But as far as the U.S., they're gonna shut down. Um, what else? NBA suspending, or they fit, they're done with the whole season. That's a huge. These things like never happen in our lifetime. I heard that uh, Costco is going nuts right now because of people are basically panic mode. They're trying to buy everything they can because they think the world's going to end. I remember I said, on the, if you follow me, I told you guys on the earlier videos that this is going to get worse. This is going to get worse. I said this like two weeks ago. And don't panic, but you can overreact and go buy all the stuff that you're going to need as far as, you know, regular lifestyle needs and dry food or canned food that's going to last you a long time if you ever have to stay home. And of course, I mean, why would anybody listen to me anyway, right? I mean, who am I? I'm just a short, fat Asian guy named Tiger. So, who cares? Well, I told all, I told all you guys. I told all you guys to go and uh, get prepared and overreact to the situation so you're prepared. Because those things don't go bad. Like, if you were going to lose money on it or you were going to it was going to go to waste then I would never told you guys or anybody to do that but I told you so <laughs> but they heard that Costco had to like call in the police not because people were going bad but there's so many people so that they can keep control the crowd so like they called in the police to at certain locations across the whole country to control the customers um, as far as the crowd control because everybody's now think that this is this is going to be a very very bad situation and I think <clears throat> this week is now the real start of it it will get better <clears throat> it will just like anything else. Humans are very smart, intelligent. Nothing's gonna be human. But before it gets better, it is gonna get a little bit more worse. Okay, we're gonna hear more cases now. Uh, I, I believe, I, I predict that stock market is gonna go down more even though we recovered on Friday. People are gonna freak out. They're gonna be scared. Best best thing to do right now is isolate yourself, stay with your families, your loved ones, and uh, just wait for this thing to calm down. The reason for the large groups has been called off is because one person has it, and if you go somewhere with big, large group of settings. That one person can give it to everybody. And then those people give it to everybody they come in contact with. So it just multiplies and multiplies and multiplies. But if there's that cutoff, there's a bunch of people that have it and there's a cutoff right there and these people never get it. That's gonna cure when these people all heal up and they're not contagious anymore. That's how you cure a virus going viral. 
And I know you guys saying it's already gone viral. But still, not everybody's have it. Everybody doesn't have it. Everybody didn't get it yet. So you can still save yourself. Another thing. A lot of industries going to get hurt by this. Restaurants, hospitality, sales, um, anything you can think of. My brain's not working really good right now. But anything you can think of is going to be affected. So, the government is going to have to bail everybody out. The rich got to get richer, obviously. But if you're middle class, lower middle class, it's going to hurt you bad. <clears throat> it's going to have an effect on your life. And But the government's going to bail us out. They're going to bail us out because I need that bail out too. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of programs upcoming to help citizens and the residents of all countries. Every country is going to get do some kind of bailout. And we'll recover from this. But you got to make sure to stay on top of it. Know what programs are going to come out to help you out. So that you can take advantage of that. And can help your daily life go on as normal as possible in these tough times. I don't know if I'm going to have to eat ramen for the rest of my life. Or at least the rest of the days until this thing is done. But... If you have different ways of cooking it, you gotta do it, right? This is the time. Like, you can't eat same water and same noodle. That's why they have so many different noodles and different flavors. Because so you can mix it up. So, be sure to do that. Go get one of these propane or butane gas oven portable ones. So you can eat something like this. Mm -hmm. mm. What else? <clears throat> Nothing much. I mean, the kids are out of school. So we're going to have a lot more time with the kids now. But definitely have a structure where, you know, it's not like, punishment for the kids or the parents but it's time to bond love each other and spend more time with each other but it's going to be time for um, the kids to clean the house to learn more things about life do some workbook or some education that you guys can do at home and play time too right I mean, just you know they can't do video game all day long but A lot of times, but they do a good job, they get treated too. Just like us. Yeah, I, I tell you, the soup is unbelievable because we mixed it. So it's got like, it's like bean paste soup with another kick to it. So don't worry, I know some of you guys are worried, but most of you guys might not be worried, because most I see a lot of posts saying like, do you know anyone that has this virus? You may not know a lot of people or anyone that has this virus, but I tell you, there are people dying out there, so respect that. Also, okay, put this in perspective. A lot of you guys know that a lot more people die of flu every year. Okay, how many people do you know that died personally every year from a flu? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. A lot more people have died from the flu every year and you don't know a single person. So is that fake too? Okay, let's be thankful, be fortunate that you don't have anyone that dies from the flu or this virus, okay? Because that sucks, okay? Being in the hospital, 
or passed away, then you gotta have you gotta have a, a memorial and bury somebody. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So that's what I'm talking about. But I hope this message goes to a lot of you guys. And so as I finish this noodle and uh, soup, I hope you guys enjoy the video and um, hope you guys pray for everybody, pray for your family, pray for your friends, pray for the whole world that we get through this as quickly as possible. Everybody gets back to their normal life. Um, please give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not for future videos. Um, always believe in yourself. Never give up on your dreams. And you can do anything with God. Till next time. Peace out. Love yourself. And others. Bye.